bring friends around the world. This is the sixth week of prayer in the context of the global prayer call. It's the last week where we focus our prayers on Israel. And the last topic for Israel in week number six is pray for the salvation of all Israel. The calling of Abraham in Genesis 12, 1 to 3 was the beginning of God's redemptive history of and through the Jewish people. The salvation of all Israel after the fulfillment of the Great Commission will be the climax of this era of mankind. And that is written in Romans 11, 25 to 27. And I read, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of Gentiles has come in, and in this way all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the Deliverer will come from Zion. He will turn godlessness away from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. It is amazing and revealing to recognize that the fulfillment of the call of Jesus to preach the gospel of the kingdom to all the earth is intertwined with Paul's revelation here. After the full number of the Gentiles has come in, after the Great Commission has been completed, the Jewish people will be saved on a corporate national level, just as the prophets have foretold, like those mentioned by Paul in Romans 11:27 where Paul is quoting from the Old Testament. We now read in Zechariah, and there it says in Zechariah 12, verse 10, And I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication. They will look upon me, the one they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. That's the quote. Jesus is talking to them about me, he says. And in the middle and in the end time battle of Jerusalem, the Holy Spirit will be poured out over Israel. That's the context of Zechariah 12. You can read the whole chapter. The context is the end time battle. The Holy Spirit will come as a spirit of prayer. All Israel will realize that only God can help them. Only God's grace can save them physically and spiritually. And at that moment, the will will be taken away from them and they will see the crucified one. Their hearts will be pierced, as the hearts of the brothers of Joseph were pierced when they suddenly recognized that Joseph was not the foreign um, dictator, but he was their flesh and their bone, their brother. That's in Genesis 45. As the hearts of the 3000 in the day of Pentecost were pierced, when they suddenly realized that the man their leaders gave over to the Romans to be crucified was indeed Messiah, the one their prophets have prophesied for centuries. It will not take long after that moment of prayer and repentance of the inhabitants of Jerusalem in Zechariah 12.10 that Jesus will come back to the Mount of Olives. That's in Zechariah 14 verse 4. So please Let's pray for that end time revival of Israel. And please, in the meanwhile, let's also pray for the messianic body of Israel, the first fruit of that revival. In summary, we can say that these different things of praying for revival for Israel, praying for the fulfillment of the Great Commission, and praying for the maturity of the body of Christ, being part of that end time agenda of God, all these things are deeply interwoven with each other. So be encouraged. Let's continue to pray, to pray for Israel. And this indeed concludes our first se session of six prayer topics for Israel within the context of the 15 weeks of prayer, Global Prayer Call 2015. God bless you. Thank you for your involvement. Amen.